pull forward. John Hall in lane number one. Great to see John back on a bike, flying the colors of brakes. Driving school, by the way, if you have not stopped by the brakes display over there in Nitro Alley, you need to stop by. It is a tremendous program. It is a driving school for young drivers, for teens. But it's not about, hey, how to get your license and how to parallel park. It's like how to survive. And it is something that was started by Doug Herbert after he lost his sons in a highway accident because one of them made a bad choice. And so he has dedicated a whole lot of time, effort, and resources to trying to teach young people that are driving that these are the dangers out there and this is how you're going to survive on the road. If you've got a teen driver and you're interested, it costs nothing for your driver to go through the school. There's cost to you is zero. And it's something you definitely want to take a look at. They have a lot of classes right here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. In lane number three is Hector Arana Jr. Driving for Getrex. Credit card processing, of course, the First ever to 200 miles an hour on his bike. Over there in lane number four is Stevie J, Steve Johnson. And I guarantee you, he has been spending a whole lot of time in the dyno room. Trying to get prepped and ready to go as we get back to work here. You'll notice Chris McGahey standing down there behind Steve Johnson's bike because Chris McGahey is part of Steve's brain trust, if you will. Guys that advise and kind of get pointed in the right direction since Steve has taken so much of the engine development and actual mechanical work in-house he's got a scholarship program for technicians a great story about it on nhra.com you can look up get some more information there if that's something that interests you but steve is kind of like the grand old man of motorcycle racing now maybe the grand old man of motorcycle racing i think that's still somebody i wouldn't necessarily want to pull up next to on race day he has uh, had a mighty good bike over the last couple of years there have been some events where he's come out and been flat out dominant on that machine of course uh Boy, is it great you mentioned John Hall, not just having him back with the Briggs program, but John Hall's no stranger to uh, holding up a Wally at the end of a weekend as well. It's a good trio of motorcycles here. Looks like we're going to get all three of them wide open to the stripe. There we go. 686, Steve Johnson. 691 Hector Jr. John Hall goes 717 off the throttle at only 160 miles an hour, but Stevie J goes number one, and Hector Jr. goes number two. Kelly Klons gets bumped back a couple, and then John Hall will slide right into the number four spot. 